Hello, Vinagovia here, and welcome to this Minecraft Rebirth of the Night installation video. We're gonna go through here in this video how to install Rebirth of the Night, how to fix it up so you can run it, and uh, go through some common issues that you may or may not experience and how to fix them. So, first of all, there is a wiki. Um, the address is in the description below, but it's here. And in the wiki, there is an installation guide, and basically, what I'm going through is all on this page, so you can pause the video and uh, and do things and stuff like that. But if you run into any other troubles, go to this page and follow the instructions. So the first thing you want to do when you install Rebirth of the Night is to install the Twitch app. Uh, this is just basically the simplest way to install Rebirth of the Night. If you don't want to have Twitch on your computer or if you have some problems with Twitch, you can also try to follow the instructions a little bit further down for Multi MC. Uh, or you can even install directly from GitHub uh, with instructions here on this wiki page. But the Twitch app is the simplest way to deal with this. And uh, you just find whatever operating system you have. And uh, in this case, it would be download for Windows. So I would click on that, it would download, and then you install it. Now, you also need to have a Twitch account in order to be able to log into the application. So you can sign up for that. It's quite easy. And uh, you can just log in here and when you logged in you get to a screen much like this so then what you need to do is you need to click on mods then you need to click on minecraft and then you need to browse mod packs or you can actually download this directly from curse forge as well link in the descriptions and you just click install here while you have the twitch client open uh, but of course you can uh, you can search for it, for it here, but in this case it's right at the top where it belongs, guys. <laughs> you click on install and uh, you can see it starts downloading things and installing things. And so you just sit back and wait for a little bit while it installs. Once the mod pack is installed, you can click on my mod packs to see it among the other ones you have. And then you can in theory just click play. Now, that being said, we want to do some changes to this first. Uh, the first and most important one, I think, is that you are seriously recommended to run this with Optifine. So you right click and you go open folder. And then you click on the mods folder. And here you can see a list of all the mods that is, are installed um, so far. But then you need to go and find Optifine. Now, Optifine can be tricky, okay? And uh, never download Optifine from anything other than Optifine.net. And also, it can be tricky with versions and certain mods and things like that. So there is a, a version here um, for 1.12 uh, called U underscore F4. And that has been proven to work with Rebirth of the Night. So download that. And once again, by the way, there is a link in the description to this file. Uh, once you've downloaded that, you need to find the file. And you copy it or, or, or cut it. You go back to your mods folder and you paste it in here, like so. Next step here, we want to have this shiny, nice music that is such a big part of the uh, look and feel of Rebirth of the Night, the immersion there. And again, there is a special section on the wiki, in case you run into any particular problems, explaining how to do this uh, stuff here. Basically, you need to install OpenAL. It's basically a little uh, file that you download, and then you double-click on it to install it. And then you need to make sure you have 64-bit Java uh, on your system. Uh, it is unfortunately required for you to be able to have the custom music. Most people today, I would say, should have that. Now then you need to find something called Embassy and Actual Music DLL on the Discord server. Now the Discord server for Rebirth of the Night is a massive actually, and they are super active, you can see here. I highly recommend you to join it for other reasons as well other than this, but what we're looking for now is important info. And then you can see here the files for that you are looking for here are, are here. And you just click them and download them. Okay, so you have these two files, actual music and embassy. You need to take the jar file, the embassy file, and put it into your mods folder. <laughs> like so. And uh, so we have Embassy here, and we, uh, same same way you did with Optifine, basically. Then you need to take the actual music DLL file, copy that, go back one step to re the Rebirth of the Night main folder, go to actual music, and paste it in there, like just like so. 
And that should be it for the custom music. You should now have it available as soon as you launch Rebirth of the Night. However, uh, if you do run into any problems and crashes, make sure that you follow dot point one and two here, uh, so that you have 64-bit Java and OpenAL installed. Very important. Okay, one last thing. If you click, left click on the portrait of the Rebirth of the Night there, and then you go out to the far right corner here and press the little cogwheel, you can go into profile options. Now, what I would recommend everybody to do is to not use the system memory settings, but instead set the memory to somewhere between three and six megabytes, and then click OK. The game will run better if you have more memory, but at a certain point, it'll start having the occasional or in intermittent lag if you have too much memory. So that's why it's between three and six is a good, good uh, option. And then you click on play. This will launch the Minecraft launcher and then you can click on play again. Now a really good tip here is once it's, uh, it comes up with the next screen here is to minimize that because it actually loads quicker if it runs minimized. All right, you should now be good to go. Press F11 to go into full screen and you're good to go. Now there is one more thing I want to mention, guys, and that is that you might end up with a problem the first time you start the mod pack where it basically says that it's, it can't find Minecraft, the Minecraft file. And that it would be, in that case, if you had never had 1.12.2 installed in its vanilla form, it might not work to install the mod pack and run it straight away. Now there is a bug for this, there's a link in the description for this video, uh, called uh, 12570, uh, versions which inherit the and redefine a library cause corrupted downloads. There is also a fix described on this page. Basically you need to start and install and start that version of the game, uh, in this case uh, 1.12.2 and run it once in vanilla and then install the mod pack on top of that and then you are good to go. There is also a file I think that you can download and sort it out with. Yeah, it's this file here uh, that you can um, download and, in, and follow the instructions for. But what I described first there has always worked for me in terms of trying to install it. Now, here we go. We're all done. I think I've covered everything. If you have any questions, leave a comment and uh, also remember to join the Discord. There is also a question section over there and uh, you can also go there just for fun. <laughs> so there we go. hope you have a lot of fun with Rebirth of the Night. I know I sure am. And yeah, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!